Hello there everyone, and welcome to another video. In this one, I'm discussing industrial modelling uh, in ready to run at the moment. Mainly locomotives, because that's a little bit nicer to talk about. Um, so yeah, these are based on two letters that I've sent into Hornby Magazine, both of which have got uh, into print um, in their reader's page as such. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd roll them into both, roll them into one video, because they go on about the same thing. Uh, the first one was um, talking about how positive it is that Hornby are producing, and Hattons, I believe I mentioned as well, um, industrial locomotives um, with their up and coming Russ and Hornsby's, but equally their Peckett W4s and the Peckett B2s, which are on the way soon, hopefully. Um, and they're showing that they're making big steps into this new market, or relatively new market for ready to run manufacturers. Um, Hattons have equally done it with their uh, Andrew Barclays um, 14 and 16 inch variant 040s and uh, yeah it's obviously a growing market those are just three models off the top of my head. Um, but yeah I wrote in that was really what the first one was on about. The second one was a bit more specific to how good it is that these locomotives are being produced in either works liveries or very generic liveries. Um, which allows for people to modify them because obviously industrial it's very easy to well a lot of locomotives got changed quite a lot the liveries were something got changed about as well as names so I was noting how good it was for Hornby to release in their Peckett W4s um, that's had two runs in the leaf green uh, which is the Peckett house livery um, the Rustin Hornsby that's coming up that's also being produced in works livery um, Obviously that's the first run that's been announced. I should imagine in the second run they'll also have some, uh, at least one, uh, obviously with a different running number, and uh, the works green as well. Um, but also, because obviously that's really positive, because most locomotives that rolled off the production line, from what I understand from what I've read, were in the kind of generic liveries, the, um, sorry, the house liveries, um, which I was assuming that there was quite a few of them about. But equally, it's really good to see kind of the generic liveries being uh, modelled, such as the Hatton's Andrew Barclays. A lot of them were produced in uh, like simple lined greens or greens or whatever, like, and with nameplates uh, or small bits of um, uh, logos or company names or whatever, which quite easily could come off with a, a cotton bud. And I was knowing how positive that was. Um, again, Hornby did it with a W4. Um, they had uh, the Leathenshaw stone livery, I believe it is, the black one. In fact, it's the black packet that's either on screen now or has been on screen. Um, it's a generic livery. It's kind of just a generic black. Um, and unless you had a specific bit of knowledge about that company, it could quite easily belong to anyone. And uh, hence why I've stickered it up or decaled it up into NCB. Um, so to show that it kind of lived into the NCB times um, and on Hickton Colliery and uh, yeah I think that's really positive that these generic liveries are produced so that people like me can alter them to suit what we want them to um, and with a generic livery it's particularly easy to do so so um, with the Hatton's Andrew Barclays as I've said the line greens the maroon that Katie's in the model that I've reviewed um, it would be very easy to change the nameplates on that or get rid of the nameplates altogether. Yeah, obviously I won't be on Katie because it's produced, um, it, sorry, it's preserved on a line that's near me. So I'm going to try and, I'm keeping the nameplates in fact, they're on order, but that's a video for another time. Um, but yeah, as I mentioned, the Packet W4s, um, but equally, the uh, Ruston Hornsby is also having a uh, army green livery that's out. And uh, from what I've seen from the CAD pictures and the art, and actually the um, locomotive itself pictures of that, it only has one or two bits of branding, so it's very easy to get rid of that. And that's much like the Hatton's Andrew Barclays, where with a little bit of altering, you can get it to suit any setting. Um, but again, the more ornate liveries, which the companies produce because they look really good, like the Huntley and Palmer's livery looks beautiful on the W4. But as you've seen in this video, I've got rid of the Huntley and Palmer's um, printing from it, 
and put it with NCBD kernels. Now that's a little bit trickier than it is with the uh, black packet, mainly because you have to get rid of um, quite a lot of printed detail. Um, but it's still possible if I've done it, most people can do it. Um, but yeah, it's good to see them producing them liveries as well, so you can alter them to your own use. Granted, it's a little bit more difficult, but equally, it kind of draws in the general punter as such. Yeah, it's someone who doesn't necessarily have an interest in industrial models, but the more attractive liveries, um, and I only say more attractive because I found the blue the most attractive of the first releases, um, the Hunting Palmer's blue on that W fold, um, it'll draw them in to buy the model, which obviously improves sales. Um, which obviously is what the company needs, especially the company at Hornby at the moment. But yeah, it's good to see them being produced, um, but it also is really good for those that the models are producing that specific livery. So like if you model the Huntley and Palmer's Biscuit Factory, that W4 would have been a godsend. Um, but equally, NCB, I model NCB myself, so I know quite a bit about the models released. The Hatton's Andrew Barclays released a lot in... Um, NCB, well there's two out of the range I can think of at the top of my head, there might be a third one, but I could be wrong, but those, uh, one of them was kind of a lined livery which would have been again slightly more difficult to deal with but not impossible um, to kind of make generic, but there was kind of one in a green where you could um, get rid of the NCB printing on it quite easily. Um, to kind of suit you out purposes but equally as somebody who models that um, area of industry I was obviously very very interested um, in getting one I was holding off getting one that's the reason I got one if they go on sale maybe but that's a story for another time um, but yeah it obviously draws people in who model that area to buy the model obviously um, but yeah I just it's kind of I kind of have a wandering video with this one. I don't really have a purpose from it, which is unusual. Um, I just kind of wanted to say, well done to any registrar manufacturers um, who are doing industrials at the moment. You're all doing really well. Um, Oxford Rail, again, with their Janus 060 diesels. There's some of them that are in kind of the generic liveries that you could probably get away with on most layouts. And with a little bit of work, you can tailor to suit what you model. And um, that's one that I didn't really mention because I didn't want to make this video too long. But then, um, uh, Halgen with their Class 05, um, Cider Queen, uh, the one that I've got, is kind of just a generic green if you don't fit the Cider Queen decals, uh, the Cider Queen nameplate to it. Um, a Black Moon with the 03. Um, the up and coming NCB livery um, it's kind of just a black um, with NCB written on the side of it so you could alter that to suit just a generic industry that is one I'm surprised back when haven't produced in more kind of generic liveries uh, since their initial release but we never know more could be on the horizon um, after that NCB batch but yeah I hope you enjoyed this one. If there's anything you disagree with what I've said, anything you agree with, let me know in the comment section below. Um, Any ways that can improve, improve this video, um, or my channel in general, again let me know. But equally, if there's anything you enjoyed about this one, it definitely won't be the most visually stimulating one, but it does mean that both my NTB packets have now got um, a little bit of limelight on them. They both will have videos done on them eventually, I'm just getting around to kind of doing all the fleet really. Having it, the ones that I've worked on, we'll all have a video done on them eventually. Uh, but yeah, that's about it for this video. And I hope to see you guys again very, very soon.